Good evening. I'm Rob Erickson, pastor at Heritage Presbyterian Church. Last year, we were at Heritage for our Thanksgiving service, and we jam-packed the sanctuary, and we had many churches together and pastors together for Thanksgiving. Well, this year, we can't do it that way, but we are continuing the tradition. And so we want to invite you to enter into this time of Thanksgiving. We have seven churches this year that have come together. We're offering songs, and we're offering prayers, and we're offering scripture as we uh, give thanks this year in our Thanksgiving service. Thank you, Rob. My name is Keith Davey from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. We love to unite together in community to give thanks both individually and by serving together. Indeed, service to God and to creation and to our fellow men is a great way of expressing our gratitude and our thanksgiving to all. Gratitude and thanksgiving for all that you do. Good evening. I'm Kerry Kincannon, pastor at Rising Hope Mission Church, a United Methodist congregation, and uh, we are so grateful to be together this Thanksgiving with this community worship service. Um, one of the things that I have been blessed by has been how the homeless and low-income community is so quick to give thanks and be grateful even in the midst of, of all of their struggles. So we offer you to, to join in their thanksgiving uh, by making a donation to uh, support the work that Rising Hope does with the homeless along the Route 1 corridor. At the end of the service, you will see a, a link where you can uh, go to that and, and make a donation directly to uh, our work with the homeless. Hello, I'm Kate Walker and I serve as the minister at Mount Vernon Unitarian Church. And we are so glad that you chose to be with us in celebration through our community Thanksgiving service. It is how we come together to serve one another and to worship and find ourselves in deeper relationship. We invite you now into a time of worship, of celebration, of community building. Take a deep breath. Let us enter into this time together. My life flows on in endless song Above earth's lamentation I hear the real, though far off him That hails a new creation 
Good evening. My name is Kerry Kincannon. I'm the founding pastor of Rising Hope Mission Church. Thanksgiving is a time when we praise God from whom all blessings flow. Over the next few minutes, you will hear Rising Hope members give their reasons for being thankful in this season. And then we will close with the Reverend Cameron Wilds, who will replace me in July when I retire. Praise God. Okay, hey guys, I'm Marcella Pratt, and I just want to be—I just want to say—I'm thankful for many things in life today, especially during this pandemic. I'm grateful to my Rising Hope family, who has stayed in contact and reaching out and bringing the ministry online to my family and I. I'm grateful for safety and health and strength. I'm grateful for all the community outreaches that I've received in the past from Rising Hope for the services that my family has received. I'm just grateful to be in the land of the living and healthy and have my strength. And I thank God for being able to still be in service in my community. Thank you. All at Rise and Hope, a very happy Thanksgiving. It is so, so nice that there are many blessings and one of the blessings in the community is Rise and Hope and all the supporters. So thank you, God bless. Peace and joy. In Jesus' name. Okay. Who are you? Troy T. Wright. And what are you thankful for, Troy? I am thankful because I am a member of Rising Hope and I'm proud to be here to support my family. Thanksgiving. Muchas gracias por el apoyo de Rising Hope a todos los que nos ayudan. Muchas gracias. I would like to say happy Thanksgiving to everyone in the community, and I would like to thank all our partner churches for the tremendous support that we've been receiving. Just thank you. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody, and may God bless you all in this holiday season. What I'm most thankful for is Jesus Christ. Hello, everybody. I'm at Rising Hope, my church, and I just want to take time out to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving, and thank you for supporting Rising Hope and keep up the good work. Hello. My name is Crane Thompson. This Thanksgiving season, in the midst of the pandemic, I am extremely thankful for the main thing, my health, the health of my friends, coworkers, and associates, and my family. I'm also thankful for Rising Hope. For a long time now, about 15 years, I've been a member with Rising Hope. And Rising Hope has been a godsend to me. I'm very thankful for that. Rising Hope is an organization and a church that helps the needy, the homeless, the downtrodden, and the forgotten. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. And I'm so grateful for Rising Hope, for the opportunity to be able to volunteer and give my um, greetings to everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. Feliz Dia de Thanksgiving. Thank you, thank you. Good morning. Uh, happy Thanksgiving. Uh, I'm Nick Coletto, and I've been a member of Rising Hope for uh, six years now. And uh, I thank God uh, this year for technology uh, because it's enabled us to stay together as a community. Uh, it's enabled me to have dinner, FaceTime with my family, who, who actually live right across the street. So uh, in a way, uh, I, the technology, the modern technology has helped us stay together. Um, and I also continue to thank God for Rising Hope, which remains a, a beacon of light in the community, uh, still serving even more and more and more people uh, as the need arises. Uh, I thank uh, them for welcoming all sorts of individuals, including uh, members of my own LGBTQ community and hope that uh, the year ahead sees us grow even more uh, so that we can welcome either, even more people into the community of God's worship. And I, I thank you very much. Good evening, church, and happy Thanksgiving to all of you. My name is Cameron Wilds, and I am blessed to be the incoming pastor here at Rising Hope, a United Methodist Mission Church. I give thanks this day for all that Rising Hope and this community have been able to do together. I thank God for the lives that have been transformed, 
through your ministries and through ours. And I cannot wait to continue to be in partnership with all of you. May this season, as challenging as it has been, bring peace to your families and hope to our world. Once again, happy Thanksgiving. Hello, my name is Kate Walker and I have the honor of serving as the minister at Mount Vernon Unitarian Church right here in the Mount Vernon district on Piscataway land. And my name is Tyler Coles and I serve this congregation as the intern minister. We offer this reading by Unitarian Universalist minister O. Eugene Pickett titled, We Give Thanks This Day for the expanding grandeur of creation, worlds known and unknown, galaxies beyond galaxies, filling us with awe and challenging our imaginations. We give thanks this day. For this fragile planet Earth, in times and tides, its sunsets and seasons, we give thanks this day for the joy of human life, its wonders and surprises, its hopes and achievements. We give thanks this day. For our human community, our common past and future hope, for our oneness transcending all separation, our capacity to work for peace and justice in the midst of hostility and oppression, we give thanks this day. For high hopes and noble causes, for faith without fanaticism, for understanding the views not shared, we give thanks this day. For all who have labored and suffered for a fairer world, who have lived so that others might live in dignity and freedom, we give thanks this day for human liberty and sacred rights, for opportunities to change and grow, to affirm and choose. We give thanks this day. We pray that we may live not by our fears, but by our hopes, not by our words, but by our deeds. May we all give thanks this day. Good evening, I'm Rob Erickson from Heritage Presbyterian Church, and with me today are Gary Thomas on piano and Marty Now on saxophone. The theme tonight is gratitude, and my mind immediately goes to Paul's letter to the church at Philippi. Now remember, Paul and Silas went down to the river in Acts 6, and they met a dealer of purple named Lydia from Teotera, and she was converted to Christianity. Then they went downtown and freed a slave girl, and because of that, they were thrown in jail. And then, while they were in jail, there was an earthquake, and they could have escaped, but had they escaped, the jailer would have been killed. So they stayed, and they converted the jailer, and his whole family were baptized. 
So Paul had quite a time at Philippi, and yet his letter opens with these words. I thank my God every time I remember you, constantly praying with joy in every one of my prayers for all of you because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. That is my thanksgiving today, is for our partnership in the gospel. And so I want to start by giving thanks for our partnership with Gary and Marty as they share a musical selection with you today. Tra Mare, Scenes from Childhood. And so we give thanks to Marty and Gary for that beautiful piece. I'm also very thankful for the pastors who gather every Wednesday morning for, we used to be breakfast, now it's a conference call, where we support each other in our calling to ministry. I'm thankful for my partnership in our church with Pastor Abe Smith from the AME Church. Our youth groups came together on October 17th to walk for hunger. They raised $1,500 for hunger relief, but more importantly than that, they demonstrated in their walking together what the kingdom of God might look like when we all work together as brothers and sisters in faith. I'm thankful for our partnership with Rising Hope Methodist Church and for the opportunity to feed hungry people through that ministry. I'm thankful for the partnership with the Church of the Latter-day Saints who sponsored the Mount Vernon Day to Serve where 10 churches came together to raise money and food for hungry children in our community. And lastly, I'm thankful for the 12 churches who have gathered last year in person here at Heritage Presbyterian Church for our community Thanksgiving service and are gathering today, tonight, online to preserve this worship service as we give thanks to God together. So let us pray. I pray with joy for all our churches who are participating in this shared worship service, I pray that you will connect us by your Holy Spirit, even and especially when we're apart, so that we might hear your words, share our gratitude to you, and reach out as partners in your gospel. Amen and amen.
My name is Bob Malone, and I'm the pastor here at Mount Vernon Presbyterian Church in Alexandria, Virginia, and it is a pleasure to be with you during this season of Thanksgiving. In my November newsletter article, I shared with my family here at Mount Vernon Pres that this year, for some reason, I'm finding a, it a little harder to find gratitude in my life. And that's rather embarrassing for a pastor to admit. 2020 is a year that will not be easily forgotten for any of us. I, I look around and I see so much anger and angst, so much anxiety and animosity, that sometimes I wonder where are the things for which I need to be giving God thanks. Oh, I know God is present, I know that God is the one in whom I live and move and have my being, but lately I just haven't felt God's presence, at least like I would like to. So several days ago when I came across a translation of Psalm 100 that I wrote back in April of this year, right after Easter, when we all imagined that it would be just a few more weeks before things would be back to normal again, and I was feeling hopeful. They are words that back then gave me great hope. And when I read them a few days ago, they gave me hope then as well. They give me hope now as well. God's blessings in this life abound. We just need to have eyes to see, ears to hear. There is always much for which we can be grateful. But for this thanksgiving to truly rise up within us, we need to see beyond the struggles. We need to see beyond the challenges. We need to see through the brokenness and the disappointments. We need to accept the cracks in our broken lives because when we do, we discover that it is through those cracks that we see the light. It is through the cracks that we see God's blessings. Listen to my personal translation of Psalm 100, and on behalf of everyone here at Mount Vernon Presbyterian Church, may it help us all experience true thanksgiving this 2020. Creation, say hello to God. Sing and shout your praises. Give honor and glory however you can. People, be mindful of God. Know that we are in God just as God is in us. Rejoice that we can know the Spirit just as the Spirit knows us. Let's begin each day with gratitude. Smile, laugh, play. Serve, love, pray, and remember that God is good, and such goodness lasts forever. Such goodness never ends. The Christian story doesn't end at a cross. It ends at an empty tomb. Death, struggle, challenges, they never have the final say. Love always wins, and hope never ends. Friends, happy Thanksgiving. Join us now in a time of prayer. Would you pray with me? God of love and mercy, we gather from our respective homes and places, from different faiths and understandings, in your presence and in awe of you. 
your holiness, your love, your mercy, your grace. We pray for one another, for our community, for our nation, and for the world. We pray for justice and unity, for an end to hatred and division. We pray for all who are isolated and fearful, hurting. We pray for all who are struggling and suffering. We pray for all who have lost jobs and loved ones, homes and businesses. We pray for family and strangers, for enemies and friends. We pray too for all who do not feel known or heard where they live. We lift to you this night cries and action for social justice, for respect and for an end to discrimination, persecution, and systemic racism. Holy God, we lift our prayers to you and share the concerns of the community of Alexandria and beyond and stand together in your ancient promises of love. And during this week of Thanksgiving, we also offer our gratitude this evening. God, we thank you for first responders, nurses and doctors, and all the healthcare workers. Thank you for delivery drivers and cashiers, for mail carriers and sanitation workers, all those who serve on the front lines in this fight against COVID. Thank you for teachers and students, for parents and guardians working their way through school, many doing so virtually. Thank you for technology, for Zoom meetings and FaceTime, new ways we found to be together. Thank you for strangers, who wave behind masks, creating a sense of community wherever they go and we go. Thank you for the beauty of nature, for the smallest things, like birds singing and the color of the autumn leaves. Thank you for laughter and sunshine, for music and rivers, for moments that serve to bring us together moments that bring us deep joy. Thank you also, God, for the gift of hope, the gift of possibility, and the gift of healing. We ask now that you embrace us with a tent of your peace. This we pray together. In gratitude for more than we can name. Amen. Amen.
blessed thanksgiving from the Baha'is of Mount Vernon. Be calm, be strong, be grateful. Be Real thankfulness is a cordial giving of thanks from the heart. Physically and spiritually, we are submerged in the sea of God's favor. He has provided our foods, drink, and other requirements. His favors encompass us from all directions. Spiritual blessings are likewise endless. Spirit, consciousness, thought, memory, perception, ideation, and other endowments. By these, he has guided us, and we enter his kingdom. Let us pray. Praise be to thee, O my God, that thou hast revealed thy favors and thy bounties. I yield thee such thanks as can cause the sick to draw nigh unto the waters of thy healing, and can help those who are far from thee to approach the living fountain of thy presence. I yield thee such thanks as can make every created thing to be a book that shall speak of thee and a scroll that shall unfold thy praise. I yield thee such thanks as can make the corrupt tree to bring forth good fruit through the holy breaths of thy favors and revive the bodies of all beings with the gentle winds of thy transcendent grace. I yield thee such thanks as can cause thee to forgive all sins and trespasses and to fulfill the needs of the peoples of all religions and to waft the fragrances of pardon over the entire creation. My name is Carol Lyles and I am a member of the Baha'i Faith since the age of 16. What I'm most grateful for is for the many teachings of Baha'u'llah who came about 170 years ago for the purpose of uniting mankind. Um, I'll just tell a few of them. The first one is the oneness of all mankind, which we see in this day and age is one of our most challenging issues is the elimination of all prejudice. But Baha'u'llah tells us that we are the flowers of one garden and the leaves of one tree. That's well, as a member of the Baha'i Faith, whose main message is unity, in this time of so much uncertainty and hardship and strife, with the pandemic causing so many challenges and the world as a whole having to confront painful conversations about justice and equality. I'm so grateful for all the oneness that I've seen in this effort, both locally and globally. Let the love and the light of the kingdom radiate through you until all who look upon you shall be illumined by its reflection. I am grateful for you, all of you and the love that you show every day in living your life and in the work you do and in the eloquence of your words and your actions that we are one humanity under one creator 
loving one another and worshiping together.